Hi, Mark Uthi here to take a look at functions in Python. Functions give you a means to reuse code. I had a software uh, manager once whose mantra was reuse, reuse, reuse. You know, he didn't want anybody reinventing the wheel. So this code uh, can be written by someone else or it could be written by you. You can write your own functions. It gives you a means to provide modularity and makes uh, programs much easier to maintain. And that's one of the reasons that uh, our manager insisted upon reusing code whenever possible because that made software development much less expensive. Three kinds of functions include built-in, such as integer, the int function, library, such as the random library with the randint function, and then the functions that you define yourself. The basic components of, of functions include the name, uh, there's an action that a function performs, functions come with parentheses, that's one way that you or, or the Python interpreter recognizes that a function is a function. And inside these parentheses, you may or may not have parameters, and you may have more than one parameter. And a function may return a value, meaning uh, if you, use, you can use an, an assignment operator to take the value from a function and put it into a variable. And parameters provide a way to pass information to the function. So to find out about all this neat stuff, you have to find the documentation. That's what's going to tell you about the data types of the parameters or the value that's returned, how many and whether uh, parameters are optional, what order the parameters appear in, and what the action is that the function performs. So if you want to find out about a particular function, uh, a built-in function, you do a, a, a search on the web. So let's begin by looking at the int function. Let's see what we can find out. Okay, so if we do a search, we use the Python keyword and the name of the function. And we'll see that one of our first hits, if not the first hit, will be from python.org. That's where the official documentation is. And if we click on that link, and even though that said Python 2.7.3, that applies to all uh, Python versions unless it explicitly says in the documentation that it doesn't. So here's all the built-in functions. There's a whole bunch of them and we're interested in int. We go here and it gives us a whole bunch of information. Looks a little cryptic. We've got our parentheses but then we've got these square brackets inside of it and you're probably familiar with using int with just one parameter. Well the the square brackets tell you that the parameters are optional. So in fact, you could use int with no parameters, which is kind of useless because all it will return is a zero. But in any case, um, you technically don't have to provide arguments. Since these uh, brackets are inside of the other brackets, so comma base is inside uh, the brackets with, with x, that means that you can have just the one argument or you can have two arguments. So you can have zero, one, or two arguments. And it goes on to tell you what the arguments mean. So the first one says convert a string or number to a plain integer. And it tells you a little bit more about that. Then it goes on to say that if you include the additional operator, uh, not operator, parameter, that this will define what base, what number base uh, to use. And that the range of bases that you can use are from 2 to 36. So you could start with binary and I'm not sure what base 36 is called but it's another whole nother number system that I've uh, never used and I don't know anybody that has. But in any case you could if you so needed to. So let's take a look at an example of how uh, it would be used. You know a lot of, a lot of times the documentation will, will explicitly tell you right right next to the function what the data type is that it returns or if it returns a data type. Uh, in this case it doesn't explicitly say it but it's kind of implied by the uh, uh, description of what the function does. 
Okay, let's take a look and see, see how this thing works. So, let's do conversion of a string to a number. I mean, we've done that before. Let's uh, put it into a loop so we can test it multiple times. While well, sum num not equal q, right? Because that's we want to be able to get out of this loop. That's what we'll do there. Then what we do is we'll take, uh, let's create a new variable num, set it equal to int, and this is the way we've been using it, some string, and notice that idle provides you with um, kind of a quick reference as to what to expect for the, the uh, function. There we go, and let's display the results, some num comma num, run it. Okay, enter a number, let's say 10. Oh, I forgot something. Okay. What kind of error is this? What kind? Is it a syntax error? Nope, it's a logic error. Because my program did not perform like I hoped it would or expected it to. And you know, with a while loop, sooner or later that condition has to become false. And how is some num going to change unless I provide... Um, a statement to make it allow it to do so. There we go. So we'll just ask for input after we display the previous input. Okay, we'll run it. What was it? Okay, 10, that's fine. How about 100? Okay, so that's no secret there. You're not surprised, are you? Right? But remember, we saw in that documentation that you could specify an additional parameter if you so chose. And if you did, that would be the base. So let's say, how about we, instead of working in base 10, which is the default, as was indicated in, in the uh, documentation, let's override that default and say, let's, let's see what this is in base 2. 10 again. Well, no, uh, a string of 1 and 0 in binary is 2. Just as 1, 0, 0 in binary is 4, and 1, 2, 0 is illegal. Okay, that's good. How about uh, base 16, hexadecimal? We could do that, too. All right, so let's, let's run this again. There we go, and if we had a string of one zero in base 16, that's 16, because the columns represent 16. Um, 16 to the one, 16 to the zero, if we had another column there, it would be 16 to the two. Uh, uh, yeah, 16 squared, which is 256, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. How about uh, A, B, C, D? That looks like a character string, doesn't it? Not in base 16. Those are numbers because in base 16 the digits go from 0 through F. A, B, C, D, E, F, G is illegal because G is not a hexadecimal digit. Okay, so that's an example of how uh, you use uh, functions, how they're constructed, what their components are, where you find the documentation for it, and how you use them, values that are returned, and things like that. I hope you found it helpful.